What's going on YouTube? This is Amel aka Pear King. Why do they call me Pear King? Cause I own these little cuties. They call me Pear King because I love my parrots. They call me Pear King because I own parrots. They call me Pear King because... Ow, stop. Today I want to talk to you guys about my gaming laptop and do a quick review on it. What are the pros? What are the cons? What I like about it? So let's get right into this. What's that, Bella? You want them to subscribe to my channel? Oh, what's that, Beast? Oh, you want them to also to hit the like button? Guys, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, make this Paris happy, and find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all across the platform, same username, Parrot King, without the I. Let's get into this. Now, for my choice of gaming laptop, I went with the MSI GP65 Leopard laptop. It comes with a 15.6 inch screen, 144 hertz refresh rate, Comes with a Core i7 10th generation graphics card RTX 2060, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabyte of SSD storage, and it comes with Windows 10 ready. All in all, I spent about $1,300 and some change on this laptop. Out of the box, you're ready to game. Now, of course, this laptop comes with all your standard features. You got the Bluetooth, you got the Wi Fi, the keyboard. I really like in particular is a Steel Series keyboard, RGB colors. You can set it to different patterns. Really soft clicks on it. The trackpad, I'm not a big fan of the trackpad just because if you game with keyboard and mouse like I do, I try using the keyboard as my gaming and it did not work out because I was hitting the trackpad all the time. So either you have to get an external keyboard or you have to disable the trackpad while you're gaming, which isn't a big deal for me and it wasn't a deal breaker at all. Now the speakers in this laptop is pretty adequate. It's not bad. Fans, they do their job. They cool the laptop down. They're a bit loud though, but it is what it is. I mean, it's a gaming laptop. Of course, you're gonna be running the fans at high speeds while you're gaming. Now, after about a month of using this laptop, I decided to go ahead and do some upgrades to it. I decided to up the storage and the RAM. I went with the SanDisk one terabyte SSD internal, which cost me about $109 and some change. Then I also went with the Crucial Memory 32 gigabyte upgrade, which was about $139 from Amazon. Now, it wasn't that hard to add the upgrades in this laptop. You turn the laptop around, there's a few Phillips screws on the back. You will ward the warranty if you open this up, but oh well, you gotta do the upgrades. And once you open it up, everything's self-explanatory. All in all, it took me about 10 minutes to do this upgrade, so not that hard at all. The whole package enemy cost me about $1,570, not counting the taxes. Um, it's a midpoint between the really high-end gaming laptops and really low-end gaming laptops. So I think I'm about happy with it. It, it does what it does. It's good for what it's used for. You, cannot, you can stream and you can record and you can play the game. But like I said before, you're going to have to scale it way down to get any kind of performance out of it. Now let's get into the Parrot King's exclusive pros and cons list for this MSI laptop. Now for number one in the pro section, I got portability. Obviously it is a laptop, you can take it anywhere you want, so that takes number one. Number two, thin profile. It's not a really bulky laptop like some of the other gaming laptops. I do like that because when I put it in my book bag, it's low profile, I like it. Number three, your gaming is really clear. You have a really good graphics card in this laptop. The gaming is flawless, if that's the only thing you're doing. For number four, I got high frames per second. If you see in the video, I get 100 plus frames per second whenever I'm playing Modern Warfare. And number five is fair price. Between the real expensive laptops and the real cheap laptops, I think this MSI laptop is a really fair price for what it is. Now moving over to the cons list. The first one on my list is the weight of the battery charger. It is so heavy. It almost compares the same as the laptop itself. When I have it in my book bag, the weight almost doubles and it gets pretty heavy. Number two on my cons list is the battery life. If you don't have the charger plugged in, it is gonna drain your battery if you're using the laptop, I wanna say about an hour. Maybe an hour and a half, two hours if you're losing it lightly. But it does drain your battery pretty fast. Hence why the battery charger has to be so hefty because it has to charge it while you're gaming. Number three on my cons list is that it only has three USB ports. I wish it had more, but I guess you can just use a USB hub and add it on because if you're using for gaming, you have tons of things you want to add in there. 
a headset, a mouse, a keyboard, whatever it might be. But I kind of wish it had more USB ports. Number four is the trackpad. I don't like the positioning of it. I wish it was more towards the middle rather than being on the left side where it hits your hand if you were to use the keyboard as gaming. Number five, the fans are pretty loud. Obviously, if you're gaming, it's going to need to cool down the laptop and those fans, you can really hear them. They sound like a laundromat, but they work. It cools the laptop down. So in conclusion, I think this laptop is good for what it does. If you want to use it for gaming and streaming and recording, that's not going to happen. That puts a lot of load on this laptop. I've tried it. It just doesn't work great. If you want to use it just for gaming, it's a great laptop. If you want to use it just for streaming, it's a great laptop, but not at the same time. I do recommend it because of everything that it comes with. It's, it's a fair price. It performs really well when doing one thing at a time. It is good for what it does. Now, go over to my YouTube channel, watch some of the other gameplays that I have while using this laptop and the frames per second and the gameplay and the recording is just flawless. Thanks again for watching this video. If you've made it this far, Bell and Beast and me all say thank you. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, go check out my other videos, check out my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, and I'll see you guys again.